go or it'll never go in the right direction you know so i say right people just to say that like someone that will help you that will help push you further along to get you to the goal where you need to go all right so sophomore, junior, senior, whatever the case may be, know someone going to college, um, you yourself are going to go to college, thinking about going to college, whatever the case is. If it deals with college, keep watching, okay? Um, Alright, but to start with this video, I just wanted to like basically tell you guys some tips that I... Um, that I was either told or learned along the way of going through college that I think would be helpful to anybody that is in college and struggling and thinking about going to college or whatever the case may be. All right, so I have 12 tips written down in my little notebook right here. I know you guys can't see it, but there you go, bam. All right, so to start this off, all right. So the first tip that I have written down is to stay focused no matter like whether it's i mean this video pertains to college but like just generally speaking now like whether it's in college work um high school um i was gonna say preschool <laughs> high school um middle school whatever the case may be stay focused you staying focused um does the most for you it helps you to make sure that you stay on track you don't get distracted by um too much partying too many bad influences anything on college anything in college that like will take you away from your successful path okay so make sure you always stay focused i think that's the number one thing that you have to make sure you keep in mind and do because if you don't stay focused then you don't have your goal in sight and without your goal in sight what's the purpose of going to college you're just gonna waste your money so staying focused is the number one thing all right so the second tip that i have is to get involved everyone says this and i never realized how important it was until like i actually started to get involved so when the first thing that i ever got involved in was this um it's not really a program but it's kind of like it was a camp basically so it was called panther camp and this is where um fiu took like a little weekend trip to this um facility where it was friday saturday and sunday right so we came back sunday in the night evening whatever and basically we were split into groups right so i was bravo group so if anybody's at fiu went to panther camp whatever the case may be bravo okay but um basically we were split into groups and those people we became really good friends with that's the first thing i got involved with involved in all right and the people that i met like amazing people such an amazing little small little family you know um when I see them on campus till this day, I still tell them hi. If I have them on social media, you know, we talk here and there, whatever the case may be. We still meet up if we have time um, and things of that nature. Like me getting involved in that helped me to meet my, meet one of my very good friends, her name is Christine. Um, if I didn't go to that, I would have been so lonely in like a couple of my classes because I had some classes with her, um, believe it or not or we started scheduling some classes together as well. 
So without going to that, it would have been super like lonely. And I was kind of skeptical. I was like, uh, do I really want to do this? Like, is this something that I want to do? Like camping, like outdoors? Uh, that's not my thing. But it was actually fun. I enjoyed it. We made s'mores. We did like um, this little campfire. Breakfast was provided. Um, we played games. We, we slept in bunk beds. So that was pretty cool. Um, we barely slept. We were up all night. Like the first night we got there, we did like, I guess, some little icebreaker stuff. And we partied we listened to music we danced we just like communicated with everybody we had fun like it was so fun it was amazing um it's something that if i could do again i would most definitely do it again um what else what else join clubs that's a part of staying involved or getting involved rather um right now in one of my previous videos in two of my previous videos or three or so um i mentioned to you guys that i joined this um faith-based club called kai alpha and i absolutely love it that is my faith based my faith based family my christian family okay um on campus I absolutely love them they're so kind always helpful always praying for somebody that needs it um always willing to help and i appreciate them so much okay um that club basically i go there every wednesday and they are the whole meeting is just a de-stressor for me and it's something that is needed like honestly when you go to club meetings if it's something that you really enjoy it will make your week so much better and totally de-stress you from like all the things in college that stress you out make you tired or whatever the case may be especially if you have like good friends in there make good friends or whatever the case is um even joining clubs help you um make friends so you won't realize who you have in your class or who's doing the same major as you or who can help you out if you don't get involved and make the friends in other areas that you need to make them in okay so um for my third tip okay ask for help Okay, let's say that again. You guys need to ask for help, all right? No matter who it's from, always ask for help, whatever the case is. If you don't understand your homework assignment, don't understand a chapter, don't understand one little point, ask for help. Asking for help can be the make it or break it of anything, okay? So, I know my school offers free tutoring so we have a center where you go you get you can get help in math you can get help in English sciences whatever the case may be if your school has that go you pay for it they say it's free but you're paying for it through your tuition go okay and get the help that you need it will make life so much easier for you and help you to understand anything and these are people that have that have taken the course, so they're certified to help you. It's not like they're just throwing some random stranger off the street, be like, oh, you're gonna help this person with um, chemistry, whether you understand it or not. No, these people know what they're doing. Like, I've been to, um, I've been to a couple sessions for, for math, and when I say they have helped, they have helped tremendously. Like, there were points in time when I was doing like my math homework and I didn't understand it for nothing in the world. And I love math, I understand math. Like, it's my favorite subject, one of my favorite subjects. And I went and whatever I didn't understand, they most definitely helped me, they're super kind, they break it down, write it down. Anything that you need, they're there to help you. Like, that's what they get paid for. That's what they signed up to do, to help you. So get the help that you need. Um, and I guess it makes it better because if it's not like a teacher or professor, you can always have that one-on-one -on -one conversation because um, they'll understand what it is that you're going through, be it that they're a student as well, okay? Um, also, get help from your professor. I know um, at my school, professors have office hours. I'm not sure what it's called anywhere else, 
but basically go to your teacher's office hours during the time that they're, that they're in their office go to them ask them for help with um, any assignments that you may need help if you don't understand the readings for that class ask them for help if your grade is looking kind of funny go to them ask them how can you bring it up what it is that you got to do I'm not saying kiss up to your teacher now but I'm saying just basically get involved with your teacher to be able so they can see that you care okay so that like kind of ties in with one of my other um, tips is getting to know your professor but I'm not gonna touch on that yet okay so um, you can also get help from your counselors so this may not be academic but they can help in certain academic situations so say a professor um, isn't returning your emails or um, they're just not doing as great of as great of a job as you think that they could be doing um, go to your counselor talk to them about it I've had a couple instances where my professor wasn't returning any emails or the class was super hard and I would email the professor and the professor just wasn't helping me in any type of way and I emailed my counselor and she gave me the best tips that she could to help me out to be able to succeed in that class and I mean I surely did all right so the next tip that I have that I was telling you guys about is get to know your professor all right so I'm not saying to like go out and like always be around your professor or like ask them what their favorite color is or get to know them like on a on a personal level like a super personal level but I mean like get to know them well enough to where like they're not your best friend but they're friends enough with you to where if you need help or you need that um I guess you can call it leverage that you have it so it's not like they don't look at you like oh you're just another student they're like okay this is a student that is involved she cares about her grades she's proactive she's always asking for help you know like just become friends with your teacher like i've had a couple teachers where i became friends with until this day like they remember me we still talk catch up and stuff like that and they were amazing teachers they were teachers that i was able to just talk with communicate with and just have fun with like you have some of those professors and when you make friends with them it really goes a long way all right so another tip that i have is meet and network with the right people so this also ties into getting involved all right so when you meet and network with the right people it can help you in various ways it can help you um with your major with different assignments it can help you not even just academically but like in the world like say if you need a job or anything like that you have those people to help you be like oh hey um they reach out to you they remember you and stuff like that be it that's your friends and you're just communicating and stuff like that so meeting and networking with the right people i say right people because like you can meet and network with anybody and you can have them as a friend or whatever it is that you want to call them but if it's not the right person it will never go as far as it as far as you want it to go or it'll never go in the right direction you know so i say right people just to say that like someone that will help you that will help push you further along to get you to the goal where you need to go all right so all right so my what's that fifth fifth um tip is um always go to class all right so i know we're in college things happen we get tired we get busy we may work or we just don't feel like going that's just a feeling okay just a feeling so i say always go to class i yes i'm guilty there are a couple times where i haven't been to class but it just it wasn't because oh i didn't feel like it I was either sick, wasn't feeling well, or something of the sort, okay? So I just didn't arbitrarily say, oh no, I'm not going to class today because you know, I don't feel like going to class, da, 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 whatever the case may be. No, I say always go to class because with some of your classes, you never know what you can miss um, and you never know the opportunities that are held within each class that you attend. 
for example, in my chemistry class, um, there was a time when my teacher, I think he was doing a review, right? And a bunch of people got up and they left and they, um, they left shortly before the class was over. And because the class was so empty, we had just taken a quiz or a test, an exam. And my teacher was like, all right, for everyone that decided to stay, I'm giving you three extra points on your exam. You know what three extra points can do? Like, that does a lot. So, always go to class and stay in class for the duration of the time until the teacher says you're dismissed. I mean, if you have something to do, like, honestly, I would discuss it with the teacher first and say, hey, um, look, I have to leave your class early because of X, Y, and Z. Is that okay with you? Blah, blah, blah. If they say yes, all right, cool. Like, you don't look like you're just getting up and leave just to leave, you know? You actually have that communication, that relationship with your professor, getting to know them so you know you have that relationship. Falling back on one of my other tips. Okay, okay. All right, so um, another tip is participate in class. All right, so some teachers actually have participation grades. So when you participate, that goes towards your grade. I also say participate in class because it helps you to just get out of your comfort zone if you're not the type of person that likes to speak up. And it also helps you to, one, build a relationship with your professors so you're able to, I said one, two, but two, build a relationship with your professors so they're able to see that you're proactive in class and that you actually participate and do what it is that you need to do to be able to answer questions and say oh she doesn't just sit there and like grasp answers or sit there quiet and do x y and z and blah, blah, blah. she actually participates ask questions answer questions help others and whatever the case may be so it can look as if and show not just look but actually show that you know the material or you want to know the material and you want to learn and grow and get better and stuff like that so participate in class okay um next tip stay on top of your dates okay stay on top of your dates me i know sometimes i can forget things so i have a planner all right in my planner i write down everything it is that i need Let me show you that. i write down everything it is that i need okay for each month, you guys can get planners so cheap at Walmart, Marshalls if you have one, Target, see, I write like all throughout my planner. Um, I even use like little sticky notes and stuff like that um, for any sort of thing that I may need it for. But um, you can get planners literally anywhere. You can go to Walgreens, CBS, Walmart, Marshalls, Target, Ross, they have them. Marsh I know I got mine from Marshalls. Marshalls, Ross, and Target always have them for a low price. Like this, I believe this was like I want to say $4.99. Honestly, do I think it was $4.99? that I got this for. And I always, always, always get my um, planners from Marshalls because they're so inexpensive and they're cute. Like they have the little designs on them and stuff like that, you know? So, and they have like different designs or whatever. So get a planner, get a whiteboard, get a calendar. I know um, in my old room, I used to have a calendar where I would um, write things on that I needed. Um, just fill out the calendar, write the due dates for whatever, and stuff like that. Calendars help. Get a whiteboard. You guys see the whiteboard that I have. I'm going to put a picture on the screen of what my whiteboard looks like right at this moment. Like, my whiteboard is full of stuff, of homework and stuff to do with the dates next to them, when they're due, and stuff like that. Writing it down, when you write it down so many times, it helps you to remember. And also, when you write it in an area that you look at every day or you pass every day, you'll remember it. You'll look at it and be like, oh my gosh, I have that to do. And you'll just do it. All right? So, and you also have your phone. You have a calendar in your phone. Use your phone. If you have an iPhone, you have the reminder app. Use it. If you don't have an iPhone and you have an Android, you have a calendar that can remind you. I used to have an Android 
and I used to use that calendar like no tomorrow I used to put reminders in that calendar all the time I would put like from birthdays assignments dates anything anything that I needed to remember that I thought I was gonna forget that wasn't gonna happen right then and there it's going in that calendar okay um next tip I forgot what number tip I'm on but y'all will see um what is it um study 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 that is the next tip okay so I say study because studying helps you so much you might think that you know the material be like okay we went over this in class i'm gonna remember like it is what it is whatever whether you have a test weekly have a quiz weekly um your exams like two exams three exams whatever the case may be always study because we're human we forget things you have brain farts you're you're if you don't study something the information will go away and the best way i find um for studying is studying with a friend or a classmate that also has that class or find someone that will help you to study whether they have the class or not like just to help you study to remember the information and just to test you and stuff like that um or has taken the class before even it'll help you to basically like stay proactive and like keep your attention so you're not just sitting there reading a book getting sleepy tired and not feeling motivated you know like make it fun make a quizlet make flashcards make it into a game or you can even do it as like there's this thing called kahoot and it's so amazing you can even make it into that make it fun like make it a game so you always stay interested um next thing all right so let's see let's see all right so one thing that i think is important so everything that we do now in college is technology based so i think it's so important to back up all your work for me most of the time like when i remember um i always have my work either in my google drive um google drive if you use google drive you know that your work will never be gone google drive is always there like all you do is just upload your work and it's there you have it there and you can access it at any time anywhere like even on your phone you can access it whether you have an android or an apple an ipad a tablet whatever the case may be you can always access it from anywhere as long as you have wi-fi okay um where else can you back it up to i think it's called OneDrive. you can back up stuff there like just make sure your assignments are always backed up because you can you never know what may happen the teacher may say that oh they never received the assignment they lost your assignment by accident because that happened like for sure and they'll tell you oh you got to redo it or something of that sort and you're like um i did all that work and you want me to do what like or did you lose your mind that you want me to redo my assignment that i spent all the time to do i think not like you either ready to go find it or like put an A in or whatever the case may be. But if you have it backed up, there's no need to like go through all that confrontation or whatever the case may be. Just print it out, show it to them, like, look, hey, I did it. This is my work, blah, 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 you know? And that's that. Um, I'm trying to think. You can also back it up to a thumb drive, but thumb drives do crash. Um, or what you guys call jump drives. I don't know what you guys call it, but I say thumb drive. Um, they do crash, but I mean, for me, I find the best thing to be Google Drive because I mean, you access it from anywhere and it's always reliable. So that's that. Um, all right, I have two more tips and then that's it, okay? Um, the next tip is to make a resume. So whether you're just starting in college or like you're in the middle of college or whatever, I say make a resume me one of my friends pushed me to make a resume she was like you should really make one because it can help you in like certain areas and stuff like that and I made it and it honestly wasn't hard you can easily go look up a template for a resume on Google you could look it up on um, 
Microsoft. Microsoft has templates. You can get, you can get, um, what is it? You can look up, um, resume, resume creators on Google and you just, all you gotta do is put in your information and it creates the resume for you. You can even pick a template that you want it, how you want it to look and stuff like that. And it's really simple. All you do is type in your information, your education, um, any awards and things that you've done, stuff that you want to be recognized. And it just inputs it in there for you, just like that. Like, you don't have to do any spacing or whatever the case is. It automatically just puts all that information in there for you the way that you want it to go, okay? And the last and final thing that I think is so important to any and everybody that is in college, attend, like, if your college has career fairs, major fairs, um internship events whatever attend them okay you guys can just by attending that it can clarify so much like if you're if you're about your major don't know what you want to major in you want a backup plan attend a major fair like i did that the other day and i got so many different papers as a backup that i can do if nursing doesn't go the way that i want it to go but i'm praying to god that it will because it will go the way that i want it to go okay because this is my plan like it is what it is like pediatric nurse and then doctor is what i'm gonna be like there's no if ands or buts about it but having a backup is never bad okay so um as well as major fairs also attend career fairs career fairs um can help you decide what you want your job to be like if you have if you have like your major set but you don't know what job you want to get with it a career fair can help you do that like help you see what your options are see what you want to do what you're good at what you like what you don't like um it just gives you an idea you know and with internship fairs it helps you get to get an internship a job paid internship um whatever it is it just helps you get your foot in the door in so many ways and it just gives you those opportunities that you may not be able to get anywhere else. So all I'm saying is any opportunity that knocks at your door, grab it, open the door, take it, because you never know when you may get it again, honestly. But that is all the tips that I have. I feel like I've talked forever. Those are 12 tips, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope you guys find the, found this video useful, okay? If you know someone in college, going to college, struggling in college, thinking about going to college, send them this video, all right? Share it out. Make sure you guys like, comment, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys know every time that I post. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, all right? But that is it. If you guys have any other videos idea for me, any requests that you guys want me to um, fulfill, any tips that you find helpful, make sure you guys drop them down in the comments below, okay? Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.